40 years from now, rising tides and greater storm surges will result in more frequent and damaging floods, forcing cities to adapt. New flood barriers like this one protecting New York City will dot our coastlines. Water levels are projected to be roughly a foot higher by mid-century, meaning flooding, even from regular high tides, could occur five times more often, more than 50 times a year, forcing communities and businesses to become more resilient. And it's not just the big cities that have to evolve because of climate change. Farmlands across the country will operate much differently because we'll be able to monitor their resources more effectively. Drones will measure soil moisture and hot temperatures that can hurt production for a number of crops. Seeds will be engineered to be more resistant to drought and disease. These advances will be done out of necessity. Otherwise, a decline in productivity will be unavoidable due to the predicted extreme temperatures and long-term droughts. The Weather Channel will cover these weather extremes over the next 40 years with increasingly hyper-local forecasts. Cars will use these forecasts to know precisely which route to take so that you arrive at your destination safely. The same for public transportation, air travel, and yes, even space travel. The choices that we make today define the next 40 years. The Weather Channel will remain committed to telling these stories of science, weather, and climate so that you have the information you need to weather all storms no matter when they happen.